The Republic fleet must have gotten the message I sent as we were crashing into that planet. I'm picking up the transmission from them now. This is Admiral Ford Dodonna to the Avon Hall. Do you read us? Admiral Dodonna, this is Carthanassi. We're receiving your transmission. Carth, I'm glad to see you're still alive. We've begun our assault on the Star Forge, but we're taking heavy losses. How did the Sith ever manage to build something of this scope? The Star Forge wasn't constructed by the Sith, Admiral. We don't have time for me to fully explain it, but that space station is far older than you can imagine. Maybe we should pull the fleet back and retreat. I don't know if we have the firepower to go up against this alien technology. You can't do that, Admiral. The Star Forge is a factory of immense power. It's been churning out the capital ships, snub fighters, and assault droids that have powered the Sith war effort. You have to destroy the Star Forge now, or you'll be fighting an unending wave of reinforcements. Then I guess we have no choice. But it isn't going to be easy. I can't even get our capital ships into position to start bombarding the Star Forge. The Sith fleet is too well organized. It's like they can guess our every move and count our every strategy. It's because of Bastila, Admiral. She turned to the dark side and became Malak's apprentice. We suspect she's somewhere on that space station right now, using her battle meditation against you and your fleet. This is Master Vandor. A number of Jedi Knights have joined our fleet under his command. If Bastila is using her power to augment the Sith, then Malak's fleet is invincible. Our only hope is to somehow stop Bastila from using her battle meditation. How can we do that if she's on the space station? We will send a squadron of Jedi Knights to the Star Forge to find Bastila. Their small ships will be able to fly through the Sith blockade and dock on the space station. If they can find Bastila, they may be able to distract her attention from the battle overhead. That should allow you to move your capital ships into position for a final assault on the Star Forge itself. I hate to ask this after all you've done, Karth, but the Jedi may need all the help they can get. Don't worry, Admiral. The Evan Hawk and her crew are gonna see this through to the end. And may the Force be with you. You made it. Several Jedi have already gone ahead into the Star Forge. We have to strike while we still have the element of surprise. If we don't stop Bastila from using her battle meditation, the entire Republic fleet will be wiped out. Come on, before they... Damn! So much for testing them unprepared. We'll deal with these Sith. You get into the Star Forge and find Bastila. Hurry!
Jedi have penetrated our defenses. Their fighters have landed on the Starforge. This is not unexpected. The Jedi are formidable opponents. Send the Starforge's battle droids to deal with them. Lord Malak, forgive me, but how can mere droids be a match for the Jedi? You underestimate the power of the Starforge's droid army. Dispatch the droids. Of course, Lord Malak. The Jedi have invaded the Starforge. Destroy them. Destroy them all. Ah! 
about the Jedi. Ah, the Jedi. Did my droids pass their test? Did they destroy our enemies? N no, Lord Malak. The droids could not stop them. Strange. I did not think there were any among the Order who could survive an attack by an army of the Starforge's battle droids. It, it was Revan, Lord Malak. Your old master is with the Jedi here on the Starforge. Yes. That would explain why the droids failed. Revan was always strong in the Force. Very well. Send out all available troops, the apprentices as well. Do you, do you think they could stop Revan, Lord Malak? Of course not. But they will slow Revan down. That will give me the time I need to fully prepare the Starforge's defenses. I am curious to see the true extent of this space station's capabilities. One as powerful as my old master will make an interesting test subject.
Ha! <laughs> 
Your wish? Uh -huh.
Master, why have you summoned me? Without my battle meditation, there is a chance the Republic capital ships could break through and attack the Starforge itself. This will not take long, Bastula. You will be able to resume your battle meditation soon enough. I only wanted you to know that Revan is here on the Starforge. Revan? But... The forces bring us towards a confrontation with my old master. The Starforge has drawn enemies together, so they may all die in a single glorious day. You must kill Revan to prove yourself worthy of being my apprentice, Bastila. You must finish what began in the Rakatan Temple. Yes, Lord Malak. I sense your fear, Bastila, but it is unfounded. The power of the Starforge will feed the dark side within you. It will give you the strength you need to defeat my old master. 
stay here in the command center while you use your battle meditation against the Republic fleet. Revan will find you here in due time. It is inevitable. Of course, Master. I will not fail you again. you will triumph, Bastula. But even if you fail, it will give me the time I need to complete my preparations of the station's defenses. And then we shall see if Revan can stand against the full fury of the Starforge. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Revan, I knew you'd come for me. Sadly, I know this is true. Had you reclaimed the power of your previous identity, I would be your apprentice, not Malak's. But you rejected the dark side. Now you must pay the price. Here on the Star Forge, the power of the dark side is at its strongest. This time, you will not defeat me. even imagine the power you must have wielded when you were the Dark Lord. You were a fool to give it all up and follow the light side. The dark side has made me stronger than I ever was before. I have a greater command of the Force than all but the most powerful Jedi Masters. As Malak teaches me the greatest secrets of the Sith, I will unlock more of my potential. Eventually, there'll be no limit to what I can accomplish with the Force. Have you forgotten the ways of the Sith already, Revan? Eventually, I will challenge my master. If I am worthy, he will die by my hand, and I will become the new Sith Master. Then I will take on my own apprentice, and the cycle will begin again. This is the way of the Sith. It is how we assure our leaders are always the strongest and most worthy. No, Revan. It is you who are doomed. You shall fall! Growing weary. I can sense it. Your strength falters. The light side is failing you while the power of the Star Forge re-energizes me. Soon this will all be over. What type of trick is this? I am a Sith apprentice now. You place too much faith in what I used to be. And for that, you shall pay. This is not possible. You have rejected the dark side. You are a weak and pathetic servant of the light. How can you still stand against me? Why can't I defeat you? Yes, I see you speak the truth. I am no match for you. Please, for the sake of what we once shared, do not make me suffer. End my life quickly. There is no other way. What are the choice you have? I have fallen to the dark side. I am the apprentice to the Dark Lord himself. You cannot let me live. You were a special case. The Council had no other choice. They needed you alive so they could discover the location of the Star Forge. It was an act of desperation. It was my responsibility to watch over you, to make sure you did not slip back into your evil ways. I was supposed to protect you from the dark side. It was a time I yearned for, and yet dreaded to hear those words. I loved you too, but I could never face who you were. Malak knew how I felt. Any part of the light that was within me would be extinguished when I killed you. But what good is love? It cannot save me from the sea of blackness I am drowning in. I have betrayed everything I ever believed in. How can I atone for that? Yes, I could join you in your battle against the Dark Lord. That alone would not make up for all I have done. Yet it would be a step in the right direction. But how would you be able to trust me? How do you know I wouldn't turn on you when you face Darth Malak? How do you know the dark side wouldn't make me betray you again? You play a dangerous game. Are you certain you wish to take this risk? 
I could end your life and gain Malak's favor with a single stroke of my lightsaber. You were brave, and some would say foolish. But you were also right. The dark side has not wholly consumed me. I cannot raise my blade against you. You will go on to defeat Malak. Of this I have little doubt. He will have gone from being the Sith Lord himself to the savior of our galaxy. And you said you loved me. This may not be the best time to say it, but I love you too, with all my heart. After this? No. Nothing could make me feel safer than to be loved by you. You should go. Malak awaits. This isn't over yet. For any of us. I should stay here, though. If we face Malak, I am afraid his dark presence will overwhelm me. It would not be wise to expose myself to such temptation. Yes, that would be for the best. You don't need me to defeat Malak anyway. Now I understand that a true Jedi is a match for any Sith, even the Dark Lord himself. I will stay here in this chamber and use my battle meditation to aid the Republic fleet. I am their only hope of destroying the Star Forge and ending the Sith menace. You must go and face Malak, but you have to hurry. Once I turn the battle in the Republic's favor, we won't have much time to escape the Star Forge before it's destroyed. Good luck, my love, and may the Force be with you. A break in the Sith formations. Green Squadron, move in. Green Squadron, moving in. Green Squadron's through. We've broken their lines. Bastila is no longer using her battle meditation against us. The tide has turned. Red Squadron, into the breach. Capital ships, reinforce their position.
You have been a thorn in my side from the moment I seized the mantle of Dark Lord from your feeble grasp. You made a mistake coming here, Revan. The Starforge fuels my command of the Dark Side. You are no match for me here, and this time you will not escape. Is that what you call it? You think stripping away your power and your identity was an act of mercy, Revan? I would rather die. Spoken like a true slave of the Jedi Code. Save your preaching, Revan. I will have none of it. You are an insignificant speck beneath my notice. I have surpassed you in every way and accomplished what you never could. I have unleashed the full potential of this Rakatan factory. You had no idea of the power within this place. Its very walls are alive with dark side energies. And now, my old master, I will let the Star Forge itself destroy you.
Ah! 
Revan, I was certain the defenses of the Starforge would destroy you. 
but I see there is more of your own self in you than I expected. You are stronger than I thought. Stronger than you ever were during your reign as the Dark Lord. I did not think that was possible. I am tempted to try and capture you alive, Revan. Then I could break your will and bind you to me as my apprentice, as I did Bastila. You'll be a far greater asset to me than even Bastila and her battle meditation, if I could control you. But is it worth the risk? Perhaps you are too powerful to be my apprentice. I betrayed you when I realized my own strength was greater than yours. In time, you might try to do the same to me. Foolish words. The darkness and the light wage a constant war within you. The balance is tipped one way now, but it can easily be tipped back. Savior, conqueror, hero, villain, you are all things, Revan, and yet you are nothing. In the end, you belong to neither the light nor the darkness. You will forever stand alone. Of course, what else do you have? Fate and destiny have conspired to keep you alive despite my best efforts. They have thrust you into the role of savior. We have been inexorably pushed to this final confrontation, Revan. I see now that this can only be settled when one of us destroys the other. Once again, we shall face each other in single combat, and the victor will decide the fate of the galaxy. between life and death, your power feeding me as I conquer the galaxy.
There you are. What happened? I don't think anyone actually expected that he could be redeemed. I'm surprised you would even think of trying. There's no time to celebrate just yet. I was able to use my battle meditation to allow the Republic to break through the Sith fleet. The capital ships are in bombardment range. And that means we all have to get out of here right now before this entire complex comes down around our ears. Everyone else is already on the ship. Let's move.
Dodona. We've hit their main orbital stabilizers. Everyone pull back. I don't want to lose any ships when that space station goes down. We did it, Vandar. The Sith are routed, and the Starforge destroyed. But at what cost, Admiral? Where is the Ebon Hawk and her crew? the victory party without us, Admiral. I'm sending an honor guard to escort you in. You'll be getting a hero's welcome when we all get home. You have defeated Malik destroyed the Starforge, and broken the spirit of the Sith. For this, I am proud to present you each with the Cross of Glory, the highest honor the Republic can bestow. From Coruscant to the farthest reaches of the Outer Rims, you will be known as the Saviors of the Republic. On behalf of the Jedi Council, Defenders of the galaxy, and sworn protectors of the Republic, I too would like to honor you for your actions. We Jedi now have another tale to weave into the grand history of our eternal order. The redemption of Revan, the prodigal knight. Wherever you go, you will be recognized as the saviors of the galaxy, the heroes of our age. But you must remain ever vigilant, for one day you may be called upon yet again to defend the glory of the Republic against the tyranny of the dark side. This is the destiny of the Jedi. <laughs>